already seen some of our other videos if you haven't go ahead and check out our YouTube channel and like and subscribe if you go ahead and do that we will actually go ahead and send a lucky winner a new tug here and VDK branded it's made from working professionals for working professionals today we are going to start our new vehicle series that'll go over some potential vehicles for us dog sport enthusiasts we'll get an idea for some of the sizes in the back, the cargo space, what type of crates we can fit in there, and just an overall review for everybody. So we're gonna start this series off with my own personal vehicle. This is a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L, and the package is a Summit Reserve. Um, I actually got this vehicle just after kind of the whole COVID thing, so it was very difficult for me to actually get one. I got very lucky with this. This was actually one that somebody else ordered and it took so long for them to get their vehicle that um, they actually decided not to get it and I swooped up and got it for myself. So there are some things that I would have changed. You know, in the Georgia heat, I probably wouldn't have selected a black vehicle. Um, it does definitely get warm in there. I'd have to compare it to another vehicle, but I normally have the AC running for my dogs in there anyway, so it's kind of a little bit of a moot point. Comfortability, it's pretty good. For me, I'm pretty short, so um, I can easily get in. I have room. A lot of times with like larger trucks, I am totally up against the steering wheel and I, my knees are hitting. I can barely reach the pedals but for this one, it's pretty good. Um, and Nick is actually also a larger guy. So if you wanna take a seat in there real quick, we can show how comfortable it is if you are of larger stature. So I'm six foot, so uh, I, I normally like a larger vehicle. Uh, my, my, my personal vehicle is an F-350, so there's a ton of room. Um, we found that this is a good compromise between something that would fit for Michelle at five foot and something that would fit for me at six foot. So as you can see, I mean, I got plenty of room. My legs can stretch all the way out. I can easily grab the wheel. Um, ton of room in here for me. Uh, we like the size, like the seating capacity. Um, this does feet, seat seven people, which uh, is great. So one of my very favorite things about this vehicle is the tech package that came with the Summit Reserve. Uh, it automatically comes with that one. I believe if you order the vehicle, you can do lower packages and do the upgraded tech package. Um, but a lot of times if you're already paying for the tech package, you might as well just get the better interior and whatnot. So always double check those kind of things when you're putting in your order. But again, my favorite thing here is this rear view mirror. So normally we always have all those crates jammed up in the back. We have equipment all over and we can never see out our rear view mirror. This actually has a camera so I can totally see out the back. Nothing's unobstructed and it's good to go. So for the passenger area of the Jeep Grand Cherokee L, it actually offers quite a bit of room. Again, I am a little bit shorter, so it does show quite a bit of room here. But if you are a larger person, there's still quite a bit of room. It's pretty comfortable. The Summit Reserve has the double captain's chairs. You do have a pretty nifty center console here. There is rear air control, uh, heated and cooled seats, which allow, again, adjustment. We can really start blowing the air back on the dogs there if needed. Um, again, it's actually pretty dang comfortable. Um, these seats are adjustable, so they do have this here, which also allow for the third row seating for people to get in and out. Again, this also comes forward too. Now, I want to show you one cool thing, because a lot of times we do like to have uh, our dogs in here. These lay flat 
And the cool thing about this center console is you can actually flip it so it again goes flat. I normally, if I have to put a crate back here, I just throw a blanket down. You can fit um, another uh, large rough land in here if needed. You'd probably be really close for two, but if you have a side door and you push this forward, you could probably at least get one or two back here as well. So that's always one nice thing. The other packages of the Grand Cherokees, uh, the Grand Cherokee L, you can have just a solid bench seat here, which will also help with if you need to have crates. Another quick little nifty thing is they do have the sunshades. So again, this will help block some of that light coming in on your dogs as well. Uh, sometimes I leave them up and I'll put the windows down and fair warning that the wind will occasionally blow them off and scare the crap out of you as you're driving down the road. For the rear cargo area, the this package has the auto lift gate. You can actually bring it down and lock it in whichever position you want. So sometimes if I need to add the extra shade on the dogs, I'll do that or block the visual while air can still go in there. And if we hit again, we're going back up. So the way I have my personal setup, two large rough lands fit in here pretty well. They do rub a tiny bit, so they it's not a fight to get them in, but if you are concerned about rubbing on your vehicle, you would probably want to put something in there so it's not going to mess up your plastic. Um, I, I purchased a WeatherTech mat. I like the rollout. I will say when I first ordered this, I was a little disappointed that it didn't go all the way over. For the most part, if I just open from the inside, the dogs do a good job going center line, but every once in a while they're excited to get in the car and they will um, hit that end there. So a lot of times vehicles have really cool nooks and crannies. I will say that this one doesn't have a ton. There is one little side compartment here that you can put some equipment in. It's super easy to fill up and they do have your spare area here. So I try to leave my crates pushed back a little bit so I can access this. I have first aid in here, uh, backup water, leash, but your spare access will be in there. And that's really the only storage you have. If you have a XL rough land and you want to leave those back seats up, you'll probably be pulled out a little bit, which will impede on how easy you can access that area. So I have fit a XL rough land in here. It will reach kind of the top height here. You will not be able to fit a large next to it. You should be able to fit an intermediate and lower, uh, but again, kind of depends on what exactly you're doing for your own personal setup. For my own dogs, the two large rough lands fit just perfect. So I'm actually gonna pull these crates out really quick so we can get a peek at the third row. So at the time of purchase with this WeatherTech mat, this vehicle was a first model year. So it was slim pickings. If I could try again, I would get the one that has the mat fit on the third row. Because as of right now, this does not go with the seat. And I would actually have to pull the whole thing out to get the ease of use out of these. So with this package, it has the really nice power seating. As you can see, that mat is great, but those hairs also tend to still make their way into the vehicle. So as you guys all know, dog hair gets everywhere. So we'll go ahead and head around the front so we can get a quick view of this third row seating. There isn't too much room here though in the cargo space with that up, but you can kind of get an idea if you have like small puppy crates, you should be good. 
Um, again, easy to get crates in and out though, if you guys ever need to utilize this third row seating. So let's go ahead and head to the third row. So this action works on both the driver and passenger side. And pretty easy to get back here. You do lose a little bit of knee space. Uh, again, I am only five foot tall, so it's really not that bad. There is actually two cup holders back here and two charging stations. You have a USB and a USB-C. And if you have anything dog-wise, we can actually plug those in if you have a USB charger for fans or whatnot. These give really nice, easy access. We have vents right here on the side. You can angle those right at the dogs and good to go. And we have Nick coming in back here, kind of show a little bit of space here for a, a big guy. It's a little tight for the bigger guys, oh, but I can make it work. Hold on. Ah, so I'm, I'm six foot and I know I probably look about 180, but I'm actually pushing three bills. So as you can see, there's a lot of size back here. Um, and then there's there's enough room for me. I could enjoy a comfortable trip. You M Michelle, Michelle might be a little crammed over there, but uh, either way, it's, it's pretty good. It's actually not. I think you're the crammed one. Ugh. Get a good nap in here. God dang. <laughs> this, is how our, this is how our drive to actually normally go. She's out in five minutes and I'm driving. Uh -huh. Be sure to tune in next time. And thanks for watching VBK TV.